Hey guys, it's Hannah. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe down below, click that button, and turn notifications on. Tonight, I'm going to be doing a nighttime routine, and I'm just going to show you guys what I do every single night to get ready for bed so you can see my whole skincare routine and all the products I use. So, everything's going to be listed down below. But to get started, I already washed my hands. I'm going to put my hair in. Oh my goodness, I actually just got it cut today and it used to be so long, so it's so weird that it's so short. I am wearing makeup, so I'm gonna take that off first and go in with my cleansing water and just use some cotton rounds. So now I just usually go in with my cleanser and sometimes I use the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub and this is for exfoliating but I only use this about two to three times a week because it's not good to exfoliate your skin every day so I'm actually going to go in with this Cetaphil Oil Control Foam Wash. usually have hand towels like mini ones but I need to do laundry so after that I'm going to use another cotton round and go in with the Neutrogena toner and this is the 2-in-1 fight and fade rapid to clear toner and this just closes your pores after we clean them out so I only do this once a day at night because sometimes if you do it twice a day it's a little too much especially if you just start so um, it dries out your skin a lot. And as you can see, this cotton round is dirty. So like we just washed our face like three times, but there's still stuff. So I'm going to go in with my Head Mud Restoring Me Cream. And this stuff is really expensive. Um, online, I think one little thing of it is like $300. I only put this, since it's so expensive, on like my problem areas. So I could put a little dab on my jawline. And then I go in with this CeraVe normal cream. And I put that everywhere. I have a few new piercings that aren't healed yet, so like obviously a lot of people are going to skip this step but i just use bactine to clean them that's what my piercer recommended so i'm going to do that just going to brush my teeth and i've been using the colgate the colgate optic white toothpaste it actually does whiten your teeth <laughs> I usually don't floss. I should, but I don't. Anyways, I go in with a swish. I have seen a noticeably white, like change my teeth after using this, so I love Colgate. Sometimes you have to be careful using that. You don't want to go over a minute because sometimes it makes your teeth sensitive to like cold things and stuff like that. So if I have any like really big zits, like new zits, I use the Mario Badescu drying lotion. But right now my skin is actually like I have a lot of redness and scars, but I don't have any like bumps actually that are really bad and noticeable. So. I'm not gonna use that tonight. I find that if you use it like every single night, sometimes it like your skin gets used to it, so it's not as effective. But on um, the days I do exfoliate, I just wanted to bring this up. I love um this facial peel from Kedma. It's really cool. Literally need not even a lot, but it's like jelly, and you put like a pea-sized amount on your whole face, and you just rub it in, and your dead skin literally like peels off, like flakes off. It's really cool. But 
This is obviously really expensive. I like using a light therapy mask at school I use sometimes from Neutrogena. I really love this for like deep cleaning pores. I do have like a black mask that like gets your black dead skin cells. I think that's charcoal. I think it might be charcoal. I really don't know. But I like that. And I have pore strips I use sometimes. So this is like my general skincare routine right now. After I take my contacts out, last thing I do is I put on some chapstick before I go to bed. I hate chap lips. I feel like for me, the first thing I notice about a person is they smile. I want to be a dentist, so obviously I pay attention to like oral hygiene. The chap lips are just like noticeable, I guess, for me. So, always put on chapstick. And I think that's it, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it helpful. Um, comment down below if you made it to the end or if you use any of the same products I use. And you like them or anything like that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!